Example two says, find the length of the hypotenuse of the triangle below, or actually to the side. So we're given the length of the two sides, and we need to find the length of the um, hypotenuse there. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Again, every time we use a theorem, we write it out. That helps us memorize it in our brain there. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So a is going to be 15 squared plus b is going to be 8 squared is equal to c squared. Now this is um, a little bit different. What I'm going to do to make it easier uh, for me is I'm just going to flip the entire thing and say c squared is equal to 15 squared plus 8 squared. What that does is that puts my variable that I want to solve for on the left-hand side, which I'm more used to doing that. So now I can go ahead and square everything, say c squared is equal to 15 squared is 15 times 15 is 225, plus 8 squared is 64. So c squared is equal to 225 plus 64 is going to be 289. Now, in order to solve it, I need to find out what c is, not c squared. So I have to take the square root of both sides. So C is going to be equal to, and this is a part that we always leave out. I'm just going to explain this real quick, and then we'll do it. But let's say that I have X squared is equal to 9. So I take the square root of both sides, and I take the square root of X squared. Well, I'm not going to do it this way. Let me explain it a little bit different way. So basically what this is saying is what number multiplied by itself is equal to 9, right? That's what it's saying. It says, what times what is equal to 9? And there's actually two different numbers that will make this true. Most people look at it and go, okay, well, 3 times 3, that's equal to 9. And that is true. But I also have negative 3 times negative 3 is also equal to positive 9. So whenever we take the square root, typically what we'll do is we'll say x is equal to plus or minus 3, saying that we can have a positive 3 or a negative 3 multiplied by itself is equal to 9. Okay, so let's come back down here. When we do this, I could say plus or minus, because it could be a positive number or a negative number, and I take the square root of 289, so 289 square root, that's equal to 17. So, is this length over here, is this equal to 17 or negative 17? But as you know, this is a distance, and distances cannot be negative. So C is just equal to 17. And a lot of times when we know we're working with a distance, we won't even put plus or minus 17. We'll just say C is equal to 17. But then it when we do it that way, we a lot of times forget about that. You know what? When we take the square root, we have to take the positive number and the negative number.